So how can I love my neighbor if I don't even know who my neighbor is? <laughs> Jesus says, no, it's not who your neighbor is. It's who you are. Are you a good neighbor? James chapter 4, verse 12 says, who are you? that you judge your neighbor, which is just a different way of saying, judgment is mine, saith the Lord, or judgment really is God's prerogative. We tend to be a little more discriminating than the good Lord, unfortunately. My mother has been gone for two and a half years now, and I've, I've missed her right, right from the beginning for various reasons, especially because whenever I think of something to do at church and don't have the money for it, I used to be able to call her up and say something, something very articulate, you know, like, Ma, I need money. <laughs> which To which she would respond every time. She would say, what are you doing at church now, Martin? A lot of times it would be something on the radio, but sometimes it would be some kind of a special series of advertisements or something else. And so, gosh... She's been gone for two and a half years, like I said. And that was one person that I could count on who wouldn't care who her neighbor was because my mom knew that her neighbor was everyone. But then, then like last winter, I started thinking about this and I thought, well, I'd like to do something extra on the radio, but it's going to cost, I think, 160 or 140, whatever it was. Anyway, so I called my son on the phone and said, Michael, I need some money for something I'd like to do at church. I told him what it was, and he said, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Dad. I'll tell Teresa to send you a check. I said, no, I'm not asking you for all of it. I'll pay for part of it. The church can pay for part of it. But I, I need a piece of it from you to really make that happen. And anyway, he's done it. He's done it actually a couple times since last winter. And the money means a lot to me. The statement that everyone is our neighbor, that means a lot to me. But in my heart of hearts, it also means a ton to me to have somebody else standing in the spot where my mother stood and say, yeah, I can help you make that happen. Think about it. It isn't who your neighbor is, Jesus says. It's who you are. What kind of a neighbor are you? Don't wait for your pastor or someone else to call you and point out a need to you. You call them and tell them about a need that you already know exists. And if you want to, make me happy. Tell them you want to be a good neighbor. After all, that's what grace to go for all of us looks like.